watching Castle Ingredients. Many brewing ingredients can be found in kitchens much like this one. Today we're going to have a look at ginger and see how to use it in all your brewing projects. Ginger is a flowering plant whose rhizome, ginger root or simply ginger, is widely used as a spice. Ginger originated in the tropical rainforests from the Indian subcontinent to southern Asia. As one of the first spices exported from the Orient, ginger arrived in Europe during the spice trade and was used by ancient Greeks and Romans. Ginger has a very complex chemistry when you use it in different ways. So like without going into too much detail, we're going to have a look at what happens to the components within ginger when you use it in different ways. Ginger roll is the active constituent in fresh ginger and is responsible for the spicy heat well known in old-fashioned ginger beer, along with a sharper, crisp ginger character. When heat is applied over time to ginger, ginger roll is converted to zingerone, which is the compound responsible for that sweet and spicy ginger character most easily associated with holiday cakes and Asian food, but lacks any heat. When ginger is dried, ginger roll converts into both zingerone and compounds called shagales. Shagales are far spicier and impart almost three times more heat than ginger roll. Now that we know this, let's see how we can put some gingery goodness into your beers. Boil. In the boil, ginger can be added anywhere between 30 minutes left in the boil and whirlpool. As we discussed, the longer you boil it, the sweeter it becomes. A quick 15 minutes steep in whirlpool, however, will see a very spicy end result. Tinctures or alcoholic extracts. By taking crushed fresh ginger and submerging it in a neutral alcohol like vodka, you will extract all the essential oils and the resulting fluid is strained and can be added to the fermenter or any other alcoholic beverage you want flavored. Be warned though that this method produces a potent, spicy end product. Your other option of course is to bake a tea. Simply take some ginger, put it in a pot with boiling water and cook it for about, say about half an hour. When you are finished, strain the ginger out and then you can add that to a fermenter or whatever you whatever usage you have in mind for it. This is really useful for things that don't have a boil step. Things like wines and ciders as well. Now, in the interest of being absolutely thorough, let's have a look at usage examples for each different kind of alcohol and how you'd actually approach getting the ginger flavor into each of them separately. You can add complexity to Belgian style ales by adding small amounts of ginger at the 5 minute mark. Wine, mead and ciders. As mentioned, a tea can be made, sweetened with sugar to the same gravity as your juice and fermented together. In the case of distillates, you really have only two scenarios. Let's say you're going to make a, uh, a ginger brandy. What you would do is you would make a tincture like we described earlier and then simply add enough of the tincture to the brandy to create the flavor profile that you're looking for. Of course the other way, let's say in terms of liqueurs or something like that, is you would simply take whatever your dilution liquid is along with sugar, if it's a sweet liqueur, and you'd make a tea. The tea with the sugar and use that as your dilution medium for making a ginger flavored liqueur. For more content like this, please subscribe to our channel and like Castle Malting on Facebook. Thank you so much for watching this channel. Tell us in the comments if you'd like to see a particular ingredient uh, reviewed, if you'd like to have a special done or ingredient, or if you'd like us to do a recipe that actually highlights a particular ingredient. All of that either let us know in the comments and follow us on Facebook. Cheers, see you later.